is about 1.5 trillion shillings that was lost in the livestock that was lost in uh, the drought. And therefore, it means we must invest resources, yakutosha, so that we prevent the loss of such an amount of uh, livestock and the equivalent amount of money that we lose as a country and communities lose in our nation. Sababu hiyo, tumeweka mpango kamili. Muliona juzi, tulitangaza kandarasi ya dams 33 ya kwanza. Kadi ya hizo dams 33 ya kwanza ni dam yenu ya Isiolo Multipurpose ambaye iko hapa. Hiyo dam yenu itatugarimu karibu bilioni 16. Na tayari tumeweka kandarasi, tunatafuta uh, development uh, uh, tunatafuta investors ambao watafanya kazi na sisi and I want to promise you we are going to build that dam because it's going to serve almost half of Isiolo County. Hiyo dam moja. Tunaelewana jameni? Tuko uh, pia na dam zingine. Tuko na uh, dam ambazo niliahidi watu wa Saricho. Niliahidi watu wa Merti. Tuko na dam ya Oldonyiro. Tuko na dam ya watu wa Modogashe. Haya yote nimeyapangia tayari. Tuko na dam pia ya mahali inaitwa Harosesa. Sijui Harosesa hiyo iko kona gani, lakini nitatafuta kwa eh, mbak, eh? Haroresa. Haroresa. Nitatafuta hiyo. So, nimesema dam ya Kipsing, dam ya Merti, dam ya Sericho, dam ya Ngaremara hapa. Hiyo tayari yote nimesha panga na mtaona sisi hivi karibuni. Tunataka kujenga dams kubwa, ndiyo mifugo yetu isikufe tena kwa sababu ya kukosa maji. Vile vile, tuko na mpango ya kujenga pans, water pans. Elfu tatu na mianane Kenya. Nyingi zitakuwa kwa sehemu ya wafugaji. Tunataka tuwakikishe ya kwamba tunatega maji ya kutosha, tunaweka storage ya maji ya kutosha, so that we can avoid the loss of livestock, especially during drought. And dawa ya hiyo shida ni kuakikisha kwamba tuko na water harvesting na water storage ya kutosha katika sehemu yetu ya Kenya. Tuko na miradi ndogo ndogo ambazo zina, zinaendelea eh, katika wizara mbali mbali. Hizo zitakuwa tunaendelea eh, na tawambia mawaziri watakuja tuko na dams ambayo inafanywa na Ministry of Agriculture tuko na dams zingine zinafanywa na wizara zingine the all these concurrently will work towards ensuring that we have water harvesting plan and we have a storage and water storage uh, capacity to ensure that we don't lose our livestock mimi vile vile nataka niwashukuru kwa sababu uh, tulikuja tukajenga bridge moja hapa na mheshimiwa Samal tukamaliza lakini sasa tuko na bridge ya Kipsing Oldorini kule ambayo tumeweka pesa tunataka tuikamilishe tuko na bridge ya Kubitulo vile vile tunataka tuijenge tumeweka pesa we are going to make sure that we create passage ya kuhakikisha kwamba sehemu hizo zote zinashughulikiwa mimi nimewasikiza pia viongozi wetu mumesema kuhusu mambo ya ardhi mnahitaji title deeds na mimi nakubaliana na nyinyi hati miliki ni haki ya kila mkenya governor wenu alikuja na viongozi wenu na tumekubaliana ya kwamba tatizo la ardhi hapa kati yenu na wanajeshi wetu kati yenu na wale wengine wote tutaishughulikia vile waziri duale amesema nishapatiana instructions kwa ministry of defense waziri ndio huyu na cdf tumekubaliana ya kwamba we cannot continue to have 
a situation where the public is complaining about our security forces. Tutaketi chini na hiyo jambo tutatatua. Tayari nimetumana surveyors thelathini. Wakuje wafanye mambo ya usorovea kuhakikisha kwamba tunajua kiasi ya ardhi ni gani, wapi tutaweka jeshi, wapi wananchi wataendelea na maisha yao. Mimi nataka ni wahakikishie kabla ya mwisho wa mwaka huu mambo hiyo ya matatizo ya ardhi kati yenu na wanajeshi tutakuwa tumemaliza. Hatutakuwa tena na nafasi ya wanajeshi kugombana na wananchi ama e, kufanya mambo ambayo wananchi hawataki. Tutahakikisha ya kwamba tumeweka boundary ya kutosha. Na vile vile njia nia yetu ni kwamba tukiwa tunaweka mradi wa maji pia tunataka kubadilisha isiolo isiwe ni mahali ya kuleta chakula iwe ni mahali ya kutoa chakula na kulisha wa Kenya wengine so we have a huge irrigation program we have a huge livestock program that is going to be operated out of this isiolo county na nishamwambia governor ajipange na county government yake tushirikiane tuhakikishe kwamba tunabadilisha sura ya isiolo na tunabadilisha watu wa isiolo wasiwe tena mifugo yao inakufa ama wanakosa chakula hapa isiolo muko na ardhi nzuri tukiwapatia maji mtatuzalishia chakula na tutakuwa na mifugo ya kutosha hii airport itapata kazi ya kuexport ile products ambayo itatoka hapa isiolo Tumeelewana jameni watu wa Isiolo? Ile kitu mimi nimesikia pia mmenieleza kuhusu mambo ya compensation ya barabara. Mnasema mnataka pesa nyingi. Sasa swali mimi nataka niulize nyinyi. Mnataka pesa ama mnataka barabara? Ati pesa